What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, this might be a sad one. I think this is going to be my last Pokemon Sword and Shield ranked video. Because you guys know, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet comes out on Friday. I might be getting it a day early. And yeah, this might be it for me. And I'm kind of sad, kind of happy because I'm ready for some new change. But yo, Sword and Shield has been a ton of fun. Three years of recording this game. It just it it was just it was just so much fun and it helped grow my viewership a lot. So huge shout out to Pokemon Sword and Shield. But in today's video, we are rocking out with a Groudon and Charizard team for Series 14. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Like I said, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet comes out very very soon. So if you guys want to stay up to date on all of my content, I'm gonna be doing some ranked battles over there. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner. We have the one and only Incineroar. Intimidate, Shukaberry, everything is fairly normal for this Incineroar. Super strong and very, very good all around. Second Pokemon is going to be Lunala over here. Lunala is one of those restricted Pokemon that doesn't get too much loving, but at the same time, it is super, super strong because of its bulkiness. It's got Shadow Shield as its ability, Rock into Power Herb as its item, and then it's got Protect, Hypnosis to put Pokemon to sleep, Moon Geist Beam for Sab, and then Meteor Beam for our coverage move. Plus, we get that special attack boost due to that Power Herb. Middle left is going to be Charizard. This Pokemon is insanely strong and very, very OP in Sun. It's got solar power, and this one's rocking the weakness policy as its item. It's got Protect, it's got Blast Burn and Hurricane for Stab, Ancient Power for its solo coverage move. Fourth Pokemon on team is going to be Regilecki. I should say Life Orb Regilecki. You guys know Regilecki is strong on its own, but give it the Life Orb and its damage goes through the roof. This Pokemon is super strong at Dynamax, and it's just great all around for speed control with E-Webs. This moveset consists of Protect, Rising Voltage, E-Web, and Hyper Beam. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our Sunsetter. It is going to be Groudon. This one has Drought with the White Herb as its item. Protect, Sword Stance, Precipice Blades, and Rock Tomb for its moveset. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be my favorite support mon in all of Sword and Shield. It is going to be Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl is actually in Scarlet and Violet, so cannot wait to use that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Showcase that in the ranked battle as well. Considering without Dynamax, I feel like this Pokemon is going to be even stronger if it has the same moveset, because screens are so strong without uh, without Dynamax. They really are. This one has Prankster, it has Light Clay, and then it has Spirit Break, Light Screen, Reflect, and Scary Face for its moveset. Guys, if you want to rent the seat for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Series 14 Charizard team. First match for today's video coming at you guys. We're going up against a Palkia and Ice Rider Calyrex team that features Umbreon, Intimidate, Landorus, then he has Regilecki, and Indeedee. So I could definitely see our opponent pop a Trick Room in turn one. So I think he's got to lead either the Palkia or the what is that pokemon or the ice rider Kylox, right maybe with the indeedy to kind of set it up but how should i go into this one i feel like maybe we can go ground on i could set up screens is there any way to stop this i mean if he goes indeedy i feel like incinor gets no value because it just stops a fake out from happening lunala is not too bad here but i feel like charizard and ground on might have to be our play right and if follow me comes out that's kind of fine i guess but mm, at the same time do i want to set up screens i feel like weather is just super super good here Especially if he intimidates us. I feel like we're chilling. I really do feel like we're chilling. Plus, Charizard can outspeed that Lando, right? Charizard, please tell me you can outspeed that Lando. 149. Actually, I don't think you can outspeed that Lando. I really do not think you can outspeed that Lando. Which could be a problem for us. I'm going to go Charizard. I'm still going to go Charizard, though. I'm going to go Charizard. I am going to bring Lunala. And I think Pokemon like Incineroar could be good. Or do I go in with like Pokemon like Grimstone? I think Incineroar is going to be good here. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one but yo before battle number one starts you guys gotta let me know for question of the day what is your favorite pokemon from the gen 9 pokedex if you guys haven't seen the gen 9 pokedex yet you guys don't have to answer in the comment section down below just like say hi say what's up to me in the comment section down below but if you guys have seen it let me know your guys answers because there is a bunch of banger new cool pokemon in gen 9 so if you guys have any favorites so far let me know let me know but let's see who this person leads let's see dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna go Indeed and Calyx. Okay, that's uh, that's fine. Do I still Dynamax? Oh, I wish I had Heat Wave. I do wish I had Heat Wave. If I had Heat Wave, oh my god, this would be money. If I had Heat Wave, this would be perfect. Because then I can go into Blades and... That could be good. I could have went into Blades and Heat Wave, which would have been beautiful. But I wonder what we should do here. He's gonna Psychic Surge. Um, he's gonna follow me. He's gonna pop a Trick Room, I believe, right? Correct? Makes the most sense. So just Dynamax Charizard. Do I just Dynamax Charizard? 
Rush defense boost is coming out here. I feel like Blades is a must, right? I feel like we Blades and... I feel like we might want a Dynamax here. Just Wildfire? I said we do it. I said we see screw it. Get after it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So I'm going to Dynamax Calyrex. You gotta be popping Trick Room, right? I think this team's tough with uh, countering Trick Room, especially if he goes in DD. Like, I can't fake out or anything. I think maybe our best bet probably would have been going in the Grimmsnarl, setting up screens turn one, maybe setting up a Swords Dance too. That could have been a smart play. Grimmsnarl, Groudon, set up screens, set up Swords Dance while he goes follow me Trick Room. Right? Yeah. That could have been a great play. It could have been a really good play for us. We're going to end up going for a wildfire. Probably taking out Ndidi or sashing it. Okay, neither. Neither. <laughs> but luckily we have Blades coming out here. The Spice Blade's going to fly. It's going to chip up some damage on the Calyrex. Take out the Ndidi and this guy gets off a G So yeah, that probably would have been my best play. Would be go Grimstarl and Groudon. Because then I get screens. I get the defense bulk. I get the sword stance off. And then I Dynamax Groudon from there. That would have been really nice. But now he's stuck in a position where he has to Dynamax. Or maybe he Mold Dynamax. Maybe he'll bring out Palkia. Maybe he'll bring out Palkia. Maybe Palkia will come out here. But he could go straight for a Glacial Lance that I don't think my uh, what's called can survive. He was in a Palkia, which is kind of tough. I don't think Palkia can survive. Or Groudon can survive a Glacial Lance, which could be tough. Hmm. Blades just the same amount of damage here, so I'd rather go for Blades than a proc of Policy. We go for blades again, and uh, who do I have in the back end? This one's mm, this one's not look good for us. I could hard swap for the intimidate. I could hard swap ground for intimidate, which I'm kind of leaning towards. I mean, Palkia's gonna go first, and I feel like Palkia's gonna change up weather. So I feel like changing for the intimidate here. I feel like that could be good for us. Saving our ground on for later, and then maybe just going into like a rockfall here for the KO. Because if he changes it to water, then my fire move isn't gonna do too much. So, I can just go for a rock ball. Pretty much pick up the KO, right? I think I should be able to pick up the KO. Plus, if he goes for a geyser, that proxy my weakness policy. But I might be dead by then. If he goes for geyser and glacial lance, I don't know if we're eating that. But we intimidate the Calyrex. And I think Palkia's gotta be Dynamax, right? There's no way Dynamax is a half health Calyrex. I think Palkia's coming out here. A little bit of Palkia action. So, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Palk is coming out here with the Dynamax. Again, I think that he's going for... He could be going for a worm win just for the attack drop. That could be his play. We'll see. We'll see what he wants to do here. Glacial Lance flies. Eat up pretty well. I, don't, I think Charizard can eat up a geyser if he goes for it. Just for lightning. Can, I don't think you can eat up a lightning, can you? I don't think you can. That hurts. That one hurts. Lightning, of course. Crit? No? No crit. That one hurts. Okay, so he does that. He can definitely f protect the Calyx, which I think he's going to do. I think he protects the Calyx. And we just parting shot here. So I'm just trying to waste out these trick room turns. I really am. Have this chip damage go through. We're slowly chipping up some damage. Um, I could bring out Lunal here. I'm thinking of bringing out Lunal here. Hmm. Electric terrain is out, so I can't go for hypnosis. I think we save our ground. I really do. I think we just save our ground on with that white herb. Um, he's going to go probably protect while I parting shot here. And at this time, I just go into a... a move guys beam or do I meteor beam? I think I just meteor beam just to get this plus one on special attack. All right, I think like that's our play because he has to protect the Calyx, correct? No, when I'm going for fake out, he withdraws. That's fine. That works too. That works too. And he's going to show his last Pokemon, which is going to be... I'm totally fine with that. Which is going to be Lando here. He's going to intimidate me. And I'm parting shotting out anyway. Look, we can eat up whatever he has to offer, right? I mean, we're out of here. We're dipping anyway. And we get that parting shot off before he goes, which is a huge turn. So we dip out. We get our special attack boost. Which is solid. Maybe he doesn't have protect for Calyrex. Might not have protect for Calyrex. I don't know, but we waste out these stricken turns pretty good. Pretty good. Now he's gonna go for Quake. He Quake and Indo. My Lunala? Or my Incineroar slot? Yeah, my Incineroar slot. Okay, we eat up pretty well. All about it. He gets a special attack boost. Make a Palkia even bulkier, which is kind of annoying. But we shall get after this. 
the meteor beam's com coming out here we do get plus one which is good so it's kind of just going to cancel out as minus one with th with this damage but it's not going to be too much damage anyway lunala doesn't hit too too hard but but it is very bulky super bulky pokemon meteor beam flies shipping up some nice damage and what do i do from here what do i do from here we got the we got the wildfire chipping through which i love and I think from here, I could set up a Swords Dance. Actually, I do not want to set up a Swords Dance. I just want to double down into this Lando slot. Let me just take out Lando. Is Electric Chain still out on the field? Can't even see. Is there a terrain? It's got to be Electric, right? Let me see. Yeah, it is Electric. So we cannot put anybody to sleep. I'm just going to go. I'm just gonna double down into Lando. I want this Pokemon going. I want this Pokemon going. We're gonna rock tomb into him. Oh, yeah. And it's good to know that uh that what's called is oh no, we lowered Landers to speed. Okay, but it has white herb. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. So he wastes his white herb. And he's gonna be able to go for a worm in here. What are you going after? We're gonna go after my Groudon. Can you eat that? You can Groudon. So you go to minus one. Um hmm. You go to minus one. I feel like you could take out here. Oh, white herb coming out here. Huge white herb. The white herbs are coming in hot. He should be able to sword stance. Yo, can you take him out, Lunala? He has plus one on special defense, but you are plus one on special attack. Can you take him out here? This could be a big time takeout. This could be a big time takeout because he just sword stance up. Don't like that one bit. Take him out, Lunala. Get some damage off, dude. Do him dirty. That's big time KO. That is big time KO from Lunala. A sword stance Landorus. That's huge. That's big time KO. Okay, so Trick Room's gotta be coming close, right? It's gotta be ending soon, right? Maybe one more turn, so if I can double protect here, we can be chilling. We can be chilling. We played this Trick Room really well. We still have Incineroar in the back end, which I really, really like. No berries are allowed to eat. And Dynamax is done. I think Trick Room has one more turn, right? Because we just went through his whole Dynamax. Swapping in and out, outplaying him. And yeah, Trick Room has one more turn. There's no way he what's it calls, right? There's no way he... I'm going to protect my ground. There's no way he double trick him, right? He has the opportunity to do that. I could obviously double protect. But I feel like at this point, we just protect this Pokemon and we go into a Moon Base Beam. Just in case he wants to try to double trick him. Right? I cannot allow him to double trick him. I cannot allow him to double trick him. That would be an insane play by him, but I just can't allow that. Let's see what he does. He goes for Glacial. It's okay. So he wasn't double trick him. I could just protect it. Kind of hurts. But Lunala should be able to soak and then just get rid of the Calyx, which I really like. And hopefully, uh, Lunala can eat up whatever Palkia has to offer. Oh, he doubled down in my ground like that? Okay, I'll take it. That's a fine turn from us. That's a fine, fine turn from us. But yeah, I was just going to double protect, waste out the last trick turns, kind of run the battle that way. But again, I I didn't know if our opponent was smart enough to go for the double trick and play. Because both these Pokemon are probably rocking trick -room. They're probably rocking trick room. That would have been an insane play, but we kind of played to counteract it. We played to counteract it, but trick room's over, and we played this one perfectly. Dominate this battle. We dominate this battle. I wouldn't say dominate, but we played super well. Because everybody knows that playing up against a trick room team when it's already when trick room's already in effect is very very hard. But it just goes to show how much better I got in this game, and I actually cannot wait for Scarlet and Violet to come out. Because when I started playing Sword and Shield, it was like my first time playing ranked and I did not know what to expect and I was just playing and learning. What is, yo, free focus, Ash? But I was, I was just learning Pokemon at that time. And now hopping into Scarlet and Violet, knowing that like, knowing the rank mechanics and everything, competitive mechanics, it's gonna be awesome. It's definitely gonna be awesome. But Palkia goes down to Life Orb damage. We start off 1-0 for today's video. Second match coming at you guys, going up against a Kyogre and Yveltal team with Storm Drain, Gaston, Grimmsnarl, Sandaconda, and I cannot remember this dog's name. I do not know why I can't remember this dog's name. Something Bolt? I don't know. It looks like the uh, the dog from Bolt from the Disney Channel movie. But I cannot remember this dude's name. I guess we'll see it in battle. Hopefully we see it in battle. Definitely a cool Pokemon. But uh, how should I go into this one? Hmm. He has the Kyogre. He has the Storm Dream Gash. I mean, I don't really have to worry about Storm Dream. But I feel like I have to worry about weather control here. So I might end up bleeding like Grimstarl for screens. I feel like Grimstarl could be type nice for screens. And maybe Ridge Lecky and just get off a of Dynamax with him. Because he's super effective up against both of his restricted Pokemon. I feel like we can roll out strong with it. No, I'm going to do it. I mean, he has Sandaconda too. We got to watch out for that. 
Could go Lunala. Could go Groudon straight up. Maybe Source in turn one. Really depends who he brings out here. Nah, I'm gonna go Regilecki. I'm gonna go Regilecki. I am gonna go Groudon, and I think I'm just gonna bring Lunala. Lunala Nala. Just gotta watch out. If I choose the Dynax Regilecki, I gotta watch out for the swap ins from the Sandaconda and swap ins from the Gastron. If I'm going for a lot of moves. I know I have a coverage uh, normal move, but the electric move does so much more damage. So we just have to watch out for that. We just have to watch out. But sometimes they won't bring the ground Pokemon, but with two in the party, I feel like he has to be bringing them. He's gonna go Grimstar and Santa Cana. So he gets the Santa Cana lead. Um, I don't watch out for that ground move. I could hard swap. I think I might have to hard swap. I think I might have to hard swap, but I'll set up the reflect. I think Santa Cana is physical attacking. Um, hmm. This will hard swap into Lunal if anybody, right? Lunal is pretty bulky. Yeah, we'll hard swap. I think he's going to Dynamax go for a G-Max Sand Spit, which is a pretty good move. It's kind of like Charizard's move, but ground. But the Sand Spit damage does less than the Charizard's Wildfire damage. It's really weird. I don't know why they made Charizard so OP in this game. <laughs> well, his Dynamax move is so OP. It really is. It's just super, super strong. Because of the After Effects, four turns of it taking, what is it, one eighth HP? That's a lot of HP. Four turns, that's half your HP. That's insane. That is insane. You just get so much value off it. Like, even if you die after using that move, you get so much value. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Four turns of that. Just slowly chipping away your team. But let's see what he ends up doing. He's going to end up faking out my Grimmsnarl. I think he's doubling down on my Grimmsnarl, right? Gotta be going for Sands, but a Rockfall? He's Rockfalling. You going into my Grimmy like that? I'm going into my Lunala here. Lunala says, yo, that's an easy so I'm surprised he didn't go for a move. Maybe he thought I was potentially swapping into Charizard. Okay, that was kind of smart. I think he thought I was swapping in Charizard. But now Sandstorm's out and about. We get off this nice swap. I think I just go for that special attack boost, right? Or I can go try to put the Sand kind of sleep. But yeah, I'm going to set up Reflect here. You know, I'm just going to set this up. I'm going to get my special attack boost. I mean, I can scary face Pokemon next turn. Like Sand Conda, try to put him to sleep. Let's see how this one plays out here. But I will want to set up this Reflect. Yo, screens are just too strong. They're just too good. The screens come out here. He's going to sucker punch me. We have Shadow Shield. And oh my lord. Chill on me, man. Chill on me. That did some some mean old damage there. It's a mean old damage. Grimstar with the sucker punch coming in hot. We get special attack boost. Um, Really good. Power Herb's going to come out here. And he dodged it. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Now we go Sand Spit. I'm dead. Come on now. What is this? Come on now. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. So I can punch it that much through Reflect, too. I'll set up a Light Screen next turn. Like, I have to. There goes the Sand Spit damage. See you later, Lunala. And I'll set up the, uh... I'll set up the other screen. And I think I gotta Dynamax my... I think I gotta Dynamax my God on here, right? Makes the most sense. That hurts, man. That one hurts the soul. So now I bring out Groudon. I think I just gotta start boosting Special Defense here. As much as I possibly can before the Kyogre comes out here. It hurts, man. <laughs> that one hurts. <laughs> Missing my move. Yeah, he gets off some good damage. I'm, I wouldn't say we're out of this battle. He is, does definitely have the upper hand, but I think we just gotta get after this. Max Quake into the Grimmy Grim. I'm all about going after Grimmy Grim. I'm all about going after Grimmy Grim. This Grim Snarl, he hasn't set up any screen jet or anything. He could be going for a sucker punch here. Definitely an option. But, baby. I actually hope he goes for a sucker punch into my Grim Snarl. Because I'm setting up a screen. So he can waste out a turn there. We can get off some damage. Santa Con is probably going after my Groudon, right? Let's see how he plays this one. He does not go for a sucker punch or anything. Light screen is popping. A little bit of popping action. And he's going to end up going for a screen of himself. So smart play by him. That's why I want to go after your Grim Snarl. Hopefully he wasn't setting up screens, but he does. He does end up setting up screens. The screens are out and about for both teams. Reflect. Gonna neglect some of his damage. And that still does a nice chunk of damage. Nice chunk of damage. More importantly, we get a special defense boost. I'm just worried about that Kyogre. I really am. That Kyogre can come in here and do some work. So I'm just gonna keep boosting my special defense. What item is this thing? A jack button. So he jacks out. Probably going into Kyogre at this point. And if Grimstar can survive this turn, I would definitely scary face that Kyogre and go right after it. 
Yeah, he goes into Kyogre. So Kyogre's out and about. Um, and the best part would actually be if he takes out my Grimmsnarl here. If he takes out my Grimmsnarl, I get a free, a free Regilecki swap. He goes for a Steel Spike. That's got to be going into my Grimmsnarl, yeah. So he goes for a Defense Boost. That's a smart play. And he takes out my Grimmsnarl. I don't mind that. Because again, I get to bring out Regilecki. And he does not have Lightning up. He only has Reflect. That's not bad. So I can boost. I can boost my special defense with uh, with uh, my Max Quake, and I can also go for Rise of Voltage. I might just protect this turn, Regilecki, because if he protects Sandaconda, or if we don't KO Sandaconda, he can definitely take out my Regilecki. So I might just protect my Regilecki. I think would be my best bet. And he could also swap. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna go straight up for Sandaconda. I protect my Regilecki. I think there's a slight chance he might protect his Kai over here, too. Let's see what he does. Yep. Great play by us. Great, great play by us. Great play by us, Jeans. Beautiful play by us. Big's flying now. Can this KO? I know he has Reflect, and now it's probably not going to KO. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Absolutely soaked up there. Do we think he has Gastrodon in the back? I don't think so. He spit. He, oh, yo, he sand spit. He changes up the weather. That actually helps us out tremendously. Actually helps us out tremendously. He's going for EQs. He's looking for EQs. EQs flying here. The reflects and everything's out and about. He is orbed. Buffets are flying through here. Sand spit, damage, all that good stuff's flying through here. Um, now I feel like we go for that. We know he has Grim Snarl in the back end. Um, hmm. We know he has Grimstar. I doubt he has. I feel like he has heavy belt on, right? I feel like we just drop a rising voltage at this point. We got a rising voltage, and we can straighten this. I think Reggie might die here. Hopefully, Reggie can take out Kyogre before he dies. He would draw Sandaconda. You got an in your belt on this slot, aren't you? Goes for Grimstar. Okay. I don't mind that. So we should be able to take out Grimstar here. Rising voltage flies through. Can this KO? I don't like swap to Grimstar. Oh my god, we don't pick up the KO. That hurts. Maybe he's going for a water spout. Would be lovely if he goes for a water spout. But we're plus three on special defense. Well, my Groudon is. Regilecki's plus two, which is solid. Grimstar goes down. Yo, we need Regilecki for one more turn. We need Regilecki for one more turn. We can get Reggie for another turn. Enormous. Because I can E-Web, take out Kyogre, slow down whoever I want. And it's kind of raw from there. I'm all about it. Ice Beam coming in here. I'm fine with that. Do not freeze me. Do not freeze me. Do not. Okay, cool. Dope. Awesome. Oh, we're playing this one good. Nice protects, all that good stuff. Like I said, I can just E-Web the Kai Ogre out here. He might roll back into Santa Condo, or I feel like he has to show his final Pokemon, right? I think his final Pokemon is a must show. What are you going into here? Santa Conda comes back out here. Okay. Santa Conda. I feel like he has to protect this turn, right? I feel like I just protect Regilecki again. He has to protect this turn. It's an absolute must. I'm just protecting Reggie here. Could dance the swords up here. But I think just going into the blades is my play. Just in case he doesn't protect the Kyogre. So we protect Reggie yet again. Playing is slow here. Trying to make a comeback happen. And he protects Kyogre again. Oh, look at that. All day plays from Jeans. All day plays from Jeans. Which we love. Which we love. He keeps trying to take out my uh, Regilecki without losing his Kyogre. It's just not happening. We're out reading him all day. So blades come out here. We know one more will take out the Santa Conda. He's going to glare me. He's going to... Paralyzed me. Okay. She glared me. A little Santa kind of glare. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. That's so cool. So we end up doing that. Um, e has got to be our play. And do I roll into another Blades? Because I don't think Rock Tomb can KO. I really don't think Rock Tomb can KO that Santa kind of. So I'll roll into another Blades here. Maybe Sword Sands was our play here. e -Web flies. And we finally get rid of this Kyogre. We finally get rid of the Kyogre. Yo, we're playing nice, dude. Well, now strong. So, Kyogre, get on out of here. We don't want you. We do not want you. Long drawn out battle. He goes for an EQ. Can you eat that up, Reggie? I don't think you can. Yeah, Reggie dies, but still. This battle's coming close. This battle definitely coming close. Blades misses. That hurts the soul. Oh, that hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. The reflect wears off. Does that mean mine's gone? 
And you belt off fight. Mm. <laughs> you didn't glare me last turn. That was smart. Smart glare from him. That's going to be GG's. That's definitely going to be GG's. And maybe we rock to him get a crit here. I don't know. But yeah, that's definitely GG's. We're slower now. Paralyzed is going to do me dirty. Wow, what a match by our opponent. Santa kind of looking good. Looking real good. But yeah, I'm going to drop a rock to him to see how we can actually play this one. He's going to end up snarling me. I mean, still snarl. Actually, yeah, we soaked that. I forgot. We're like plus two on special attack. Or special defense, I should say. And he wasted my herb. How dare you waste my herb. Iron head flying through here. And that does a little bit of damage. Should not make me flinch. And what's a 1v1? We're boost on special defense a lot. Rock Tomb flying through here. Dropping this thing's speed. Not bad damage. Do I go for a Swords Dance? Oh, is this thing Herb too? He's policy. No. <laughs> Yo, this thing's weak, this policy. That hurts the soul. Sandstorm's gone. Oh, again, we're still plus three on special defense. But I, I just don't see us. Unless we get a crit or something. That's our only way of winning. The only way of winning is getting crit. Unless we sword stance last turn. I feel like sword stance would have been nice for us. But a sword stance rock team wouldn't have KO'd. Oblivion wing flying here. I think we can survive this because we're plus three. Yeah, we might be able to survive another one. Thing is, if we survive another one, the problem is we're going to be paralyzed one of these turns. If we can survive another one and we hit it with a rock tomb, I think we can outspeed the next turn and win this game. Because we don't outspeed now because we're paralyzed. But if we can survive one more and hit it, hit it with a rock tomb, we can outspeed the next turn. Oh, this one's going to be close. Can we survive this? We can. I know paralyzes is allowed. Come on, yo. Don't do not do me dirty with the paralyzes. Oh, okay. It doesn't do me dirty with the paralyzes, but we miss our rock tomb. We miss our rock tomb. I'm fully convinced. Hold up. Let me see your stats real quick before I, before I say anything. I'm fully convinced that if we land at that rock tomb, we get the third speed drop. Because right now... We're minus two due to paralyze on speed. He's minus two due to stat drops on speed. He would be minus three if we land that rock tomb. We would definitely outspeed him, I think. We would outspeed him the next turn, and all we would need would be a paralyze not to land. But that is going to be GG's. Oblivion Wing is 100%. I'm still going to go for a rock tomb, I guess. Maybe he messes up. Maybe he mixed clicks. I do not know. But no, he just goes straight into Oblivion Wing, and we lose that battle because of some RNG. Hurts the soul, man. Hurts the soul, but that's, that's Pokemon for you sometimes. But, yo... One on one for today's video. We're hopping into our third and final battle. Let's grab ourselves a winning record for our last Sword and Shield video. Final match coming at you guys. Going up against a Lugia and Shadow Rider Calyrex team that features Rillaboom, Regilecki, Amoongus, and Grimmsnarl. I feel like the Charizard Groudon combo rolls out pretty strong here, right? Makes the most sense. Gotta watch out for Regilecki, but again, we have Groudon on the field. So I'm gonna go in with Groudon. I'm gonna go in with Charizard. I am going to bring Vic and Sinor could be solid here. I'm going to bring Incineroar. I like Incineroar. And I think Lunala in the back end. Or do I go with the Pokemon like Regilecki? Eh. I don't really like Regilecki here. I like its speed, but I don't really like Regilecki. Actually, I'm going to bring Regilecki. <laughs> I was going to bring in Lunala, but Shadow Rider Calyrex just rips into that. Now it speeds it. Hits like a truck. I'm just not dealing with that. So, Regilecki, you got the lucky fourth spot. You got the lucky fourth spot, but we're sitting one and one. Can we grab ourselves a winning record? I would love to. I would love to, but yeah, I'm going to miss Sword and Shield, man. I love this game so much. Put oh, like over thousands of hours in this game. Just just bring you guys content. I just love bringing you guys content with this game. But it's going out it's gonna be so much better, I feel like. The game looks incredible. It really does. And I just feel like the rank's gonna be so much fun. I really do. So hopefully you guys are subscribed. Hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy the content for that game. But he's gonna end up going into Lugia and Amoongus Moongus. Um, I feel like I just set up a sword dance here, right? And take you out? Do we really need speed? I mean, I could go for speed, but he could have the Cobra Berry, so I'd rather go into here. And he really can't swap in anybody that's going to soak up the, the fire move, right? Yeah, so fire move definitely coming out here. And I'm going to set up the dance that is full of swords. Full of swords. And, you know, something that I saw for Scarlet and Violet, a little, little bit of leak for you guys, but Greninja gets, uh, gets some new moves. He gets Swords Dance, and Greninja is in the game. So he gets Swords Dance, and he's going to be an absolute menace on the ranked double ladder. Swords Dance, Grand Ninja, with no Dynamax. You could just fake out Clap or something like that. Fake out one opponent, set up the Swords Dance. This thing just starts going crazy. And it has uh, Liberio, too. But they nerfed Liberio a slight bit. You can only change typing once per, I think, swap him? 
or once per Pokemon, something like that. But I still don't feel like that's too bad because you can you can actually change typings with Thrasilization now too. So basically, you can change twice. That's pretty cool. That is pretty dope. So he's gonna Dynamax a Lugia, Lugia, and he's gonna end up going for a Protect, which was rather smart. I'll give it to him. That's smart. He's smart, little booger. Rather smart Protect. Wildfire's still gonna do a good amount of damage this week. Wow. Wow. That's all I have to say is wow. That's some big time damage. That's some big time damage. She's gonna end up quaking my Zard, or not my Zard, my Groudon, which is fine. Should be able to serve pretty well. I get off the free dances and of the swords. If I get the dance up, um, I feel like uh, an airstream should be able to take out that Amoongus after, after this. So I'm gonna airstream, and I don't want to proc policy. I think I got my swords dance again. I think I might Swords Dance again. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I'm, or I could protect. Or I could definitely protect. But yeah, all day we gotta go into an airstream here. What do I do? Do I protect? Or do I dance up again? I think we can freely dance here. I'm gonna dance. I'm gonna dance up again. We airstream here. I'm gonna take out this guy. We'll say see you later, and we'll kind of go from there. I don't get this sea boost. I'm gonna sword dance up again. So I have Charizard boosted on speed. Hopefully, Lugia doesn't go for another speed boost. Cause I'll let, I'll let that Pokemon attack as much as he wants if he if he's not weak to spells procked. Cause if he doesn't go for a speed boost here, Groudon can start doing some work. He does go for a speed boost. Kinda hurts. In my Groudon. So I don't think Groudon can eat up again. I could protect this turn, just pose him as a threat. He is a big threat right now. He's a huge threat right now. Yeah, I don't feel like procking that thing's weakness policy. I mean actually that's fine because Charizard can outspeed, get the speed boost, and just allow that thing to drop like a rock team. Of course, this thing's gonna throw out him. He's gonna be able to grace glide. I am just going to protect and airstream again. Exactly what window. And do I protect this thing? Yeah. We have to protect. Is this thing holding a Koba Berry? Maybe I should have went to my fire move, but no. I'm liking this. I'm gonna protect this Pokemon. Protect my lovely little Groudon. He goes for that Grass Guide. Yeah, we saw that from 85,654 miles away. Easiest read of my life. Airstream comes out here. We say bye bye to Rilla. Robum's actually getting nerfed too. And Scrout and Ballot, he loses Grass Glide. I feel like that just takes him off out, out, out of any contention of being in the meta. Because that was the reason he was brought into the meta. Was they gave him the grassy terrain. He can still set the terrain, I believe. Wow, yo, we could have just ripped into that Lugia. We could have just ripped into that Lugia. Hurts the soul. We could have just ripped into that Lugia. But I don't think Lugia can KO us now. I don't think Lugia can KO us now. Now that's out of Dynamax. Yeah, yo, we have a plus four Groudon. And we're getting HP back. Thank you, Grassy Terrain. So I feel like. I feel like we just drop a rock on this thing's head. And then we get rid of the Calyx, right? Charizard's going to be faster. I might just Blast Burn this thing. Rip right into it with a Blast Burn. Obviously, I want a hurricane, but I can't hurricane. That has a chance of missing, so. I feel like we just rock tomb. Go for the KO on the Lugia, because we got plus four. And it's super effective. And then we just throw a big old burn full blast into that thing. Let me rock tomb. But I don't think Lugia can KO me, unless he gets a crit here. He protects the Cali. <clears throat> he protects Calyrex. That's a smart play. Blast burn gonna fly. It's gonna get blocked. Lugia should go next, right? He goes for an ice beam. He going after it. Can you eat that? Don't freeze me. Don't do me. Don't do me dirty like that. Cool. Rock Tomb's flying. See you later. Throwing some rocks on this Pokemon. We're plus four. We're plus four. We love it. We love it. And I think Groudon might be faster than Calyx. He's going to be cutting it close. Because I know we're like 114 speed and Calyx can get up in the 220s. Maybe even higher than that. But Wildfire's going to take off Sash. And this might be sweep. It might be sweep time for us. Actually, yeah, it is going to be sweep time. I just got to hit this thing with a Blast Burn. And we get a sweep to end Sword and Shield. I love it. I love it, yo. Sweep to end Sword and Shield. Cannot go wrong with it. I feel like we just go into... Actually, no. We're going for Blades. 
Sweep the end sword shield and a winning record. It's beautiful. Uh, no, no. We just, wait, wait a minute. Did I jinx myself? Can you KO? This should KO. You're plus four. Okay, yeah. Sweep the end sword shield. We love it. We love it. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. 2 1 for today's video. We grab ourselves that winning record. My last ranked battles video for Sword and Shield was a huge success. I want to give a huge shout out to everybody who viewed my Sword and Shield content. It really does go a long way. Help me grow as a content creator, but I'm so ready to move on to the next step and bring you guys content for the brand new game. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.